Coming up, Baking to Win. Ipswich's Gavin Turner talks about his lifelong love of baking from when he was very young and about scoring one of 12 spots in the shed for the current series of the Great Australian Bake Off. It's Monday, June 26, 2023, and I'm Alan Roebuck. Welcome to Ipswich Today, which acknowledges the traditional custodians of the land on which it is produced and pays respects to elders past, present and emerging. This podcast is supported by Kinetics, people-powered web hosting trusted by Australian businesses since 1999. The Great Australian Bake Off is an Australian TV series that's based on the UK baking competition, The Great British Bake Off. Last year, Foxtel announced a new look seventh season had been commissioned for this year and filming commenced last September. The seventh season premiered on June 13 and Ipswich is being well represented by Gavin Turner. Thanks for speaking with Ipswich today, Gav. Hello, Alan. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity. You and I have known each other for quite a few years now since we worked in the same department at Ipswich City Council. I still remember those delicious gourmet morning teas, never to be repeated in the department since you left. Um, <laughs> let's, talk about, <laughs> let's talk about your earliest interest in baking and cooking. Take us back. How old were you? Oh, look, it would have been when um, we were on holidays at Evans Head. My family were friends with the owners of the local bakery. And, uh, yeah, I just um, was taken over one day and my dad's um, mate was a pastry chef and it just sort of started from there. I was to keep going over and I'd crack eggs for sponges and all that sort of thing, you know, sweeping the floors but just having a real interest in, yeah, you know, uh, pastries and patisserie um, as well as the bread side of it. I used to sort of just wherever I could and, you know, you go over as a kid, that little boy that always hung around, the guy that was making the dough of an afternoon, you know. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, I had a lot of um, uh, those experiences, I suppose, that you remember when you start making your own breads. You think, oh, I remember doing this or scraping a tray down. Um, the lady, Cynthia, that used to own the um, Evans Head Bakery, I uh, remember we used to scrape the trays down to make breadcrumbs and that. Um, and, you know, even today when I'm scraping my trays down, I think of her, you know, you get these flashbacks of yeah. just life. So when were you let loose in the kitchen at home to do your own thing? Yeah, look, mum used to um, bake at least once a week, but, you know, uh, we'd, you know, um, she'd give me the opportunity if I need to make an engagement cake for a friend or a birthday cake, you know, it was still my home as well. And um, mum always supported uh you know, having a keen interest in in sort of like cakes and celebration cakes, I suppose. What about when you got to high school? Where did uh, where did it take you there in the cooking area? Um, well, when I started in grade eight at St Peter Claver, the Menial Arts Building hadn't been completed, and I wanted to get in and do woodworking and that. Um, but I ended up um, having the opportunity to do a home ec class. And I thought, oh, that'll be better. I can get in and do some baking. Um, so I did that for the first or second term um, and then got back into woodwork on that sort of thing. But, um, yeah, just moving on, just baking at home, I suppose, or knowing I could bake a nice cake um, and make it for a family member's birthday. So it all sort of started um, with that type of kitchen environment, you know, in association with mum as well. So it was more than a, a casual interest in baking. You had a keen interest in baking it's it's fair to say while you were still at high school did you think that would become a career or did you want that to become a career um i was given the opportunity to um take on a um apprentice chef at lennon's uh in queen street in brisbane Um, that's a good gig yeah and and it was just a matter of circumstances the the time of finishing work and no trains um, Mum and Dad wouldn't want me to live in the city at 15. And, yes, yeah, so I, I, I didn't take that opportunity. But, yeah, I've still always baked and um, had a keen interest in anything sort of a la carte as well, I suppose. So when you left school, there was a – was that about the time you were leaving school or you hung about to year 12? Uh, no, I um, finished in grade 10 and um, I became a tally clerk at um, TA Fields at the time, the Meatworks – as, yeah, junior clerk, um, that was a really exciting career path and I had a good knowledge of percentages and maths and all that sort of thing and 
um, uh, it was you know, still close by and um, in amongst that. Um, I didn't really look for any sort of baking uh, interests other than just what I'd do at home, I suppose, at that stage. Now, I might be wrong here, Gav, but I recall a, a previous conversation we had years ago. Did you actually get to try your hand at uh, baking full-time as a career? Look, I did years ago. I'd originally, um, in conjunction with my wife, um, set up a business called Gav's Cakes. That was back in, like, 1997. Yes, yeah, so look, it, it was really prosperous and that, but having a young family and that, it was you know, a lot of work um, to meet the commitments of, you know, people that have had a, a wedding booked with you or that sort of thing. And when you're sort of like that one person doing it, knowing how you'll put it all together, it's hard, you know. Yeah. My wife at the time looked after children. Yeah, so, yeah, but other than that, it's always been a fun experience. So, um, Well, I'd you know. describe it as a, a part-time <laughs> labour of love for yourself because you've even got <laughs> your own commercial-scale kitchen at home. How many cakes do you think you've made in that home kitchen? Oh, yeah, it'd probably be, have to be a couple of thousand. Like, wow. I've, I've, never, I've never really thought about the numbers, but, <laughs> you know, say you do one a week, you know, that's 50 a year, uh, maybe a few more. So, yeah, you know, <clears throat> there's been a lot, lots of different things. That is a labour of love. Let's Absolutely. talk about let, Let's talk about how you scored the prize spot on uh, Bake Off, but before we do, we'll set the scene. Australia's tastiest competition is here. Welcome to the Great Australian Bake Off! Hosted by a sweet new team. I am over the moon to be a judge. Bakers, I'm so excited to be starting my journey in the shed at the same time as you guys. On your marks, bake! No. <laughs> a new season jam-packed with fresh faces. I can't believe I'm here. I'm pinching myself. And fresh creations. <laughs> You've excelled yourself. It's absolutely delicious. <laughs> it gets a from me. But the same wonderful flavour. I'm having so much fun over here. I think one of the best things to come out of the shed is the people that you meet. You made this? Yeah. You should go on like a cooking show. And if you need even more of a sweetener, we're dishing up a very special guest. I can't wait to see what you bake for us. That's the cherry on top. <laughs> New season, The Great Australian Bake Off. Tuesdays 8.30 on Lifestyle or Watch On Demand. You did make an appearance in that promo, but no words from you. Have you been in any uh, promos since? Uh, no, just um, other than our original interviews, where that there'd be a lot of footage that can't go into each and every show. Mm. So um, it, it, it's sort of, you know, telling the story of some amateur bakers that have all got a passion for the same thing. It, it's really nice when you look into it and, the, yeah, you know, I've seen other episodes and think, oh, you know, they seem so friendly and, you know, is that how it is or is it all cast like that? But it, but it is actually like that. Let's talk about whose idea it was and can you describe the audition process of, of how you got there? Um, yeah, I had a friend that put it to me one day saying, oh, have you seen that Facebook application of Australia's Greatest Bake Off, you know? Why don't you have a go? And I went, no, I'll get in on that, you know, and sort of had doubt towards it. And then re the reply came back, I'll have a go, will you? I went, oh, bloody hell. So I started <laughs> reading it. And, uh, yeah, so you had to read, the, like, the terms and conditions, which is like a 10-page contract sort of thing. And then, oh, my God, you know, kept reading. I thought, oh, okay, and then you had to put your email in and a couple of photos of cakes or biscuits or anything, pastries or bread that you've made. So I put that in. And then you had to do, like, it um, right at the end. Oh, can you do a minute and a half video of us so we can meet you? Why do you want to be on the show? And, and that's just sort of like the, the normal standard application process, which has just finished um, recently for the next season. Um, so, yeah, I did that. And then, yeah, from there, it just sort of, I had one of the executives ring and say, look, you know, we're really keen on your application. Can we have a chat? That's sort of involved in there and then to an interview. And that's how the process sort of works. And that's sort of what states, I think, you know, and their web pages and that. But it's just such an exciting venture all the way through. One, knowing all the thousands of people that <laughs> applied for it, and you're one of the 12, you think, well, that's, that's a right. win. Yeah. That's a win in its own right. Mm. Well, you're obviously sworn to secrecy. You mentioned contracts, so you can't tell us who wins. But let's talk about the TV show experience 
and the pressure to perform in front of the cameras. What was happening in your mind and what was happening around you in the couple of days leading up to the first shoot? Yeah, look, I've been involved um, in with Ipswich Little Theatre as an amateur actor anyway over the years. I'm being a team leader, you're sort of always the upfront, upfront person to uh, lead on meetings and that. So I... I, th- I thought it would be quite okay, you know. I probably hadn't been filmed as much as it was with having the cameras so much beside you when you're baking. Um, no, it was probably like, yeah, a bit of adrenaline rush on the uh, ex- excitement of it all happening, you know, like pinch yourself, hey, you're actually, you, you've got onto the show, you know. Um, it, it was. It was just sort of that once-in-a-lifetime experience that you think, I want to remember this. Uh, for, for oh, no, you won't forget it. You won't forget <laughs> it. Where was the location of the Bake Off shed? Um, it's filmed in Sydney, yes. Yeah, so I think they, you know, where they use different sites every year, but they don't actually disclose the actual, oh, this is on, you know, Smith Street, Albion or whatever. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> fair know, enough. Oh, I just wondered because I hadn't seen uh, anywhere <laughs> that it revealed the exact location, but Sydney will do. Um, yeah. <laughs> was there a chance for a rehearsal with those kitchens in the shed? Or you, um, had, you just yeah, had to we go in take, cold? Yeah, no, we were taken in mm. and um, uh, shown what's actually there and, you know, on each uh, bake, you know, that everyone had the same thing on each bench wherever you're baking for that episode. Right. Um, yes, so that was good, but, yeah, as much as just getting used to the – that brand, like Smeg's obviously the main sponsor, and it's just fantastic equipment and everything's Smeg, so it's it's great. It started state of the art, but it might be different to your old Kmart one you've been using at home, you know. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> is 350 really 350 or 250 or whatever it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking the old measure there. We can all imagine uh, what it might be like under those studio lights. How was it for you? You've started to tell us about it. Did you adapt quickly? To those surroundings? Yeah, yeah, you know you have to get in and do what you're doing. So before I'd actually um, left Ipswich, I was talking to myself or speaking out loud what I'm doing when I was baking at home. Right. Um, because that's, that's what they want. They want to hear the story of what you're doing, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, all of a sudden they see a cake on the bench where there's been no story of how you made the cake. So I, I think it's really nice that the selection of people have come from all different nationalities from a, around Australia and states. Um, but, you know, talk people talking of their homeland, you know, where their grandpas come from and mamas and all this sort of thing. And um, it, it was such a, a blend of really nice people. It was just fantastic. And how long to record each episode, <laughs> roughly? Some days were longer than others. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, even, even so, the, the experience overweights. You know, it's not like waiting in a doctor's surgery. Oh, I just had to wait another hour, you know. It's, it's not like that. You, you, you know, in between, you get to know the bakers and, you know, from there we, we'll be like life friends for, yeah. for that experience and the time we spent so closely to each other. What will be your lasting memory? Is it the friendships? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we've got a WhatsApp that we chat, and we've always chatted, like, since it finished, you know. So um, uh, uh, really nice, you know, Um, and and everyone's respectful of each other, you know. Like, someone has to go each episode and someone has to win, and that, that, yeah, someone has to win. And and that's just sort of how it is. But um, I think everyone was just so happy to be chosen to be one of the 12 bakers. We we all won. Since it's appeared on Foxtel... What's been the vibe around Ipswich as you've been moving around? I've been on uh, leave, actually. So you haven't I've got much been, vibe. <laughs> I've been hiding away. <laughs> and, uh, you know, do I wear the baseball cap and dark glasses when I go out? <laughs> but, um, oh, look, I, you know, I suppose other than shopping, I, I don't really go out too much. I, um, I, I go to the Ipswich. There's a cake shop at um, the back of Blackstone Ipswich Cake Shop. Um, I get a lot of stuff there. They're really great, you know, so mm. they're really happy to find out I was on the show. Gavin Turner, we're rooting for you on Ipswich. Let's hope you are the winner. We've just got to wait and see. Thanks for talking right. to Ipswich today. Thanks a lot, Alan. Good talking to you. You can catch The Great Australian Bake Off Tuesdays at 8.30pm on Foxtel. 
And don't forget to look for handy links in the show notes. Ipswich Today is supported by Kinetics, people-powered web hosting trusted by Australian businesses since 1999. This podcast is also listener supported. Please make a once only gift or regular donation to help keep it online. Just go to ipswichtoday.com.au and click the donate button on the homepage to make a payment through PayPal. Follow and stream this podcast from your favorite app, including iHeartRadio and Amazon Music, or play Ipswich Today on smart speakers. Music is supplied by Purple Planet Music. This is Alan Roebuck. Thank you for listening.